Hi, and welcome to Home Assistant, how to beat Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to talk about one of the hidden gems of Home Assistant, and that is that there is an alternative, both to Google, Amazon and Apple smart speakers right inside Home Assistant. And no, I'm not talking about the almond. We'll start in a couple of seconds. There are a lot of ways to communicate with your Home Assistant instance. You can do this via the sensors, for example, door window sensor, motion sensors, etc. There are also additional hardwares that you can hook up to your Home Assistant, such as Google Smart Device, Amazon or Apple Smart Speakers. And all those allow you to either send the commands to those devices or have reaction announced or set to those speakers. Some of you have even tried Elmond. But only 4,000 users, or around 3.5% of you, are using the internal Home Assistant integration called Conversation. And what Conversation is? Well, it is actually Conversation with Home Assistant, the way to communicate with it. There are some internal commands, but the biggest flexibility of it is that you can create your own questions and answers to those questions. So today, we will be integrating it inside Home Assistant. Unfortunately for this, you cannot use UI, you have to go to YAML files, but that shouldn't be the issue. So that will be the topic of today's video. But there are some limitations to it. Unfortunately, not all browsers are supported and also iOS is not supported. What it means? It means that yes, you can use it on most of the browsers that support this functionality. And how will you know if your browser supports it? Well, the only way to find out is to install, which we will be doing a bit later, and trying to use this function or integration inside Home Assistant. I myself am using it mostly through the mobile phone. And for what you can use it? Well, let me show you two of the simplest things that you can do. For example, if you have watched my previous video about shopping list, the additional way on how you can use the shopping list is to add items to that shopping list via your voice. Like this. Add milk to my shopping list. And of course, the other thing that you can use this conversation is to talk to your home assistant and tell it to control the lights. Like this. Turn bedroom lights on. But that's not all. Because Home Assistant is transcribing or converting speech to text, you can also utilize this as a service. So what you would do is you would call a service with the text attribute that includes the transcribed text. And that way you can also create automations that use conversations. I know that it can be a bit silly and you may be wondering why, but maybe some of you will have use case for that too, which we will try also later in the video. But let's get started with the configuration of conversation integration. First, let's go to Visual Studio Code or any file editor that you are using. By the way, before we jump into the configuration, while you are here, don't forget to subscribe to two Twitch channels. One is Bearded Tinker and the other one is Mark What Tech. Yeah, that's not the content that you probably guessed we would be doing, but we had fun last week. Who knows, maybe we will repeat that very soon. Back to configuration. In your configuration YAML file, and you can edit it in either Visual Studio Code or File Editor or any text editor that you use to control the YAML files, at the end, just add one line. Of course, I always add two lines because I want to remember what I've added. Conversation, integration. And the only other line that you have to add for now at least, is conversation. And that's it. Save if you need to save the file. Go to configuration, server control, check configuration because you should always check your configuration between restarts. While we wait for Home Assistant to restart, I really would like to thank everybody who has become my YouTube channel member and is supporting me that way. Thank you all for all of your support. And also, I would like to thank everybody who has watched, liked, or subscribed to my channel. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. Thank you. Now that Home Assistant is fully restarted, we can go to overview. And you should see a mic icon here. 
This is something that the conversation integration has added. Unfortunately, during my testing, it looks like Chrome is blocking access to microphone. And when I press the mic here, I receive Home Assistant did not hear anything. On the other hand, on my system that uses SSL, I have given permission to the system to use the microphone and I can use the command. But as I mentioned, you can also use it in the mobile app, which is, I think, more convenient than using it on your desktop PC. Nevertheless, even with this here, we can type the command. Turn off Elgato e light air. And yes, it has turned off this light. Let's turn it back on. Turn Elgato e light air on. And it did turn the light on. As you can see, you can put the command or what you want to do before and after the entity. As I mentioned, you can also add items to the shopping list. Let's check the shopping list here. I already have subscribe, so don't forget to subscribe and milk, don't forget to buy milk. And as I've shown in my example previously, we can use this to add items to the shopping list. Press on conversation and either speak to it or type following. Add gummy bears to my shopping list. I've added gummy bears to your shopping list. And the gummy bears are here. I did notice that the system is not perfect. If I would, for example, skip my in my shopping list, it wouldn't add. But then again, I've already trained myself to use the my before shopping list. Okay, so that's what you can do out of box. And I did mention that you can use services. So let's check how we can work with the services. Let's go to developer tools, services, conversation. And as you can see, there is a new command called conversation process. It only needs one thing, and that is text or transcribe text. Let me tick this box and type here turn Elgato e light air off, call service. And it does the same thing as the mic or typing in the text box on the mic field or speech field does. Let's check the YAML code, service conversation.process with the data and the only field or attribute we need is text. And in text field, you type the transcribe text or what you would normally say to the home assistant to do something. Okay, that's all good. But what if you want to expand on this? Well, I'll show you one simple way on how to create your own intents. Before we create intent, let's just make sure that this intent or this action or this conversation doesn't already exist in Home Assistant. What I want to know upon asking is what is my internet speed? So I already have this fast.com download speed, but I want to ask question what is the speed and I want to receive the answer. So let's check here. Start conversation. What is current internet speed? speed. Sorry, I don't understand that. Well, let's fix that. Let's go to Visual Studio Code once again. Unfortunately, at this point or until devs do something about it, there is no way to create or edit intents inside the UI. And you have to go to the configuration YAML file or create a linked included YAML file where you will be keeping everything related to conversation. Let's create our first intent. Intents, plural, and give this intent name. Let's call this one Internet Speed. Now we have to list the questions. And if I'm not mistaken, you can have multiple questions that would give the same answer. So it can be, for example, what is the current internet speed? How fast is the internet, etc. Well, let's try. I haven't tried it so far. If you put the or any word in the bracket, it means that this word is optional. The question, when I fix it, will be what is the current internet speed? 
but it also can be what is current internet speed. So even if you say it with or without, uh, this would work. Let's try additional question. The next question is how fast is internet now or how fast is internet? We now have intents and one we've created is called internet speed with the two questions. Next, we have to create something that's called intent script. And we have to create it for the internet speed. This has to match this one here, or this has to match this one here. The intent script has two options. It can either be speech or it can be action. So for example, if I would use this to turn off my internet speed, I could create an intent speech notification that would say, I have turned off the internet. An action can be service, for example, switch dot turn off and use that entity to turn that entity off. But in this case, we will just be creating verbal answer. Text. If you remember, we also use text when we call the service. So once again, here we will be using that text. And I have already prepared code. It will say current internet speed is, and then I'm pulling the state of the sensor.fastcom download. If you want this to look nicer, this is how I would do it. Any other or future intents can go here. My second intent. And my second intent would then have its script here. As I mentioned, just to make sure that you didn't miss it, you can have speech with text. But you can also have action. And then in action, of course, add service and use whatever service and the related data to that service that Home Assistant has. For example, light. Of course, you would need to have the questions for that intent here. Let me quickly delete what's not needed here. And let's restart Home Assistant and see if this works. And Home Assistant is back up. So now let's see if we can test the intents we created. Press on the mic. Let's type the intent we created. What is current internet speed? And it gives us information that current internet speed is whatever the current internet speed is. Now let's check the alternative question that we created for the same intent. Or the alternative intent for this same question. How fast is internet? Current speed is once again the same. And if you remember, there is a way to enter the optional word that can but doesn't have to be used. So I added in this case, how fast is home internet? Let's try that. How fast is home internet? And the same question works. There are tons of ways on how you can implement this in Home Assistant for your own setup. Only you know for what you can use those conversations. For example, in my main setup, I will be using this to ask a question of what is the current radiation level based on the sensors I have. But you can also use it to check the state of any entity or whatever Home Assistant provides you. The imagination is your only limit. If you have some great use cases or you have created some very useful intents, don't forget to share them with us. You can do that by joining the Discord server. And of course, the link to Discord server is down in the description of the video. But before we wrap up this video, let's also look at one additional way on how you can use that. And that one is hidden in the documentation of this integration. By the way, the link to documentation is always in the video description. In the documentation page, you can learn all about this conversation integration. You can see how it's set up. You can add custom sentences, which we did cover, but there is also one advanced custom sentence that you can use to get the inspiration for your automation. So let's quickly go through this one. The following configuration can hand the following sentences. Change the lights to red, green, blue, 
or change the lights to the color red. As you can see, the intent has changed the lights and then the optional, the color. But here we are using this word later on in the speech and action. In the intent script, the text is change the lights to, and then we are pulling this value from our question. So yes, you can use variables in the questions too. And then using action, light turn on, to change the color. If the color is red, we use this one. If color is green, we use this one. And if color was blue, then we use this one. So for example, how you can use that in your automations? Well, the question can be possibly, what is the state of the placeholder door sensor? And then you have your entities that are called placeholder door sensor. For example, front door sensor, back door sensor, and things like that. And then you have one intent or one question that can give you answer for that specific sensor. I hope that this did make sense. So once again, thanks for watching this video. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. And if you did, and if you think that it was useful, please give me a thumbs up. It means really a lot to me, but it also helps with the YouTube channel. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video, any previous video I did, or the idea for the future videos, you can always link comment down in a comment section below. And of course, feel free to join the Discord server because there will be more interaction there than in the comment section of the YouTube. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future videos and streams. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have 